Hello and welcome back to Oblivion. So this time um, I have some mods installed, some new mods. One of them being the uh, what is it called? Realistic leveling. That's it. Yeah, and it it seems to have uh, redone my attributes a little bit. My endurance was a hundred. It's gone down to eighty-five. I think my speed has been decreased a little bit. My agility went way down. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about this. Um. Yeah. So, from what I understand, this mod like takes your skills and then it like calculates your attributes based on your skills. Uh, I mean, I guess that makes sense, but um, the problem with that is the attributes kind of become redundant in a way. I mean, I guess you know if you get skilled in in one skill that's related to strength, then you can more easily increase other skills related to strength because your strength will buff like your ability to swing and stuff. But I I kind of like being able to choose my own attributes. Yeah, I mainly got it because I because it levels you up and doesn't um, <laughs> increase your uh, attributes based on like how much you've been uh, grinding for that skill for this during the level but uh, yeah I think I'm gonna try another leveling mod I'll be right back okay I'm using a mod called easy level up and it's supposed to like change your skills by um, five on each level up but um, I edited the ESP it made it to. At least I think I made it to. You see, I, I didn't really edit it with the proper tools. I used a hex editor, so I'm, I might have just screwed it up. But I guess we'll find out. <laughs> um. But anyway, yeah. Um. I, that other mod is good, I guess. It's just wasn't really my cup of tea. You know, I, I like to have control over my attributes. I guess I'm kind of a purist that way. It was really nice that that other mod um, gave you the ability to level up on the fly without resting. Uh, oh well, I guess I just had to deal with it. I really wish someone would just make a mod. It um, makes the level up the same as it is in Daggerfall because you know it was perfect in Daggerfall. But um, I guess this is kind of the next best thing. See, so, yeah, the mod I had installed it, it increases three of your attributes by five on every level up. But um, I changed it to because I think five is a little bit excessive makes it a little bit too easy to max out all your attributes. I wanted to keep things challenging. I think I accidentally hit my Daedroth. Textures are gross. 
guess that texture wasn't part of the texture pack. Oh, here we go. Crystal staff. Screaming maw. Okay, yeah. That gives you the focus crystal. And you put that in here. And we're good to go. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm kind of losing my voice right now because I'm just getting over a f uh, cold. Enjoy more grummites. Grammites have their own type of gear. It's really crappy though. Disintegrate weapon. Don't need that. <coughs> Poison of frailty, that might come in handy. curious to see if my editing worked on that uh, mod. Whoops. Because like basically all I did was go into it and find some um, number fives in hexadecimal and then like change them to two. But they, they were all in places that looked like they were um, related to, like, the um, attribute increase variable. You can't tell I'm kind of a computer guy. I like tinkering with stuff on computers. It's kind of my job too. It's what I do for my day job. Alright, so we have another staff that. Put it in another thingamajig of judgment. Because it was just so fun the first time we had to do it again. have so much health. <coughs> it's kind of annoying when enemies have like a whole bunch of health but they barely do any damage to you. It's kind of like, what's the point? There's no way in hell you're gonna beat me so I'll just make it easier for me to kill them. matrix. Yeah, I think if if you give that to some blacksmith back in New Sheoth, he 
can uh, make uh, heavy greaves for you. Because like the, the madness org um, is for making heavy armor and the amber is for making <coughs> light armor. <coughs> the armor is even better than Daedric armor. Which, you know, I mean, usually I'd be, the lore nerd inside me would kind of be upset about any armor being stronger than Daedric armor, but, you know, technically it is Daedric armor because it's made in a Daedric realm, so. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I knocked him over and then he burned to death in midair. Okay, I'll just wait here for a moment. Close my leveling up. Okay, 50%. Let's see. Definitely could use some more athletics. Might go have that trained. I don't think I've done any training, like, um, training from a trainer in this playthrough yet. So satisfying. So we got another staff with a crystal on it. Guess what we need to do with it? Yep. So this, uh, this kind of drags on longer than it needs to, but um, this dungeon does get a lot more entertaining later on. It's probably one of my favorite quests in the whole expansion. Actually probably in, in the whole game, including both expansions. Unless I'm thinking of another dungeon. Man, there's just no end to them. God. This is giving me flashbacks of that goblin army in Oblivion. Or, I mean, Morrowind. I think this is like some kind of reference to that. and helmet. I don't even want to fight those guys. Just gonna leave them alone. But I can't because I have to get this gate open. There we 
go. I have Apotheosis bound to a key. I don't know if I... Yep, I do. missing. Come on. I think you dispelled my my soul trap. Got some more Mandasaur. It's always good. Resonator of Judgment. I think you're just supposed to activate it. Oh. Okay. Teleportation pad. Okay. So there's one here, and I think the other one opened over there, too. Let's try this one first. Finally, Lord Sheagorath has sent someone to assist me. But where are my manners? <clears throat> Must get into my professional tone. <clears throat> Welcome to Zedillion. I'm the dungeon caretaker, Kiliban Nerendil. A wonder of engineering, is it not? Zedillion is the ultimate test of metal for the foolhardy adventurer that dares trespass into the Shivering Isles. What they don't know is that they're being drawn to their doom, courtesy of the Resonator of Judgment. Ever since that wretched gatekeeper was made, Zedillion became redundant. It fell into disrepair and was eventually all but forgotten. After only a few years passed, the Grumites began moving in. Ghastly things. They mistook the focus crystals for some sort of religious symbols and removed them from their rightful places. This rendered the Resonator inert and Zedillion completely useless. Luckily, you came along and placed Zedillion back into operation. Yes, yes, I, I tend to ramble. You'll have to forgive me. If you have the attenuator, then Shea Gordon must have sent you. Zedillion would normally have sent you back to the entrance when you stepped on the pad in the resonator chamber. Since you're up here, I can only surmise that adventurers are already entering the dungeon as we speak. The only thing we can do is let the adventurers complete a cycle through here. I'll be glad to help. I assume Shea Gorath gave you the Manual of Zedillion. You can consult it for more information, or I can provide instructions. I will be happy to describe each chamber and explain the event that unfolds as we proceed through Zedillion. As the adventurers make their way through Zedillion's chambers, they will encounter choices that you make in these control platforms. All you need to do is decide what becomes of the adventurers. Will you drive them insane, or will you pull the life from their bodies? Simple. Wait until the adventurers are in position, and then press a button. If they survived, they will proceed to the next chamber, and so on. It's really quite ingenious. You'll know you're done when they lie dead on the ground or they are out of their minds. Of course, any of their possessions you wish to keep are yours for the taking. I'll make sure you get them when you're done. Well, the dead will be disposed of. Have no fear. That's my job. Those that are lucky enough to merely go insane 
will be granted a place in the Shivering Isles as a permanent resident. Each chamber presents two options. When you push the appropriate button, an event will unfold for the adventurers to experience. One is physically harmful, usually lethal traps or creatures, something relished by the residents of Dementia. The other choice is more mental. They are designed to make the adventurers lose their grip on reality, much like the residents of Mania. Of course, the introduction of spore gas with the Mania choices helps as well. As you wish. The Resonator works by drawing adventurers to itself with a sort of magical siren's call. Cheogorath uses the Resonator to find the cream of the crop, as he calls them, the best of the worst to populate the Isles. Quite clever, eh? So good to be back in business. Okay, so basically. In this quest, you get to play God with some adventurers. Um. Oh. Okay. This has to be a joke. Can we just leave? I don't like the looks of this place. Hmm, let's see. Giant gnarl or gnarl swarm. Curious. This one is smaller than the others we've encountered. Let's try giant gnarl. What in oblivion is that thing? <laughs> This is one of the horrid guardians of which the stories spoke? Be careful. There may be more to this creature than meets the eye. What a joke. Let's be rid of this thing and continue on our way. Are my eyes playing tricks? Or is the creature... It's transforming. It could devour us. Run for your lives! Get back to your <laughs> Look at that way. Nice walk. All this time it was merely an illusion. How clever. Wait, what's wrong with Lewin? It makes no sense. He should be d dead. Oh, what the oh. I think this place got to him. Perhaps we should leave. No, we'll pick him up on the way out. <coughs> he must fend for himself. Okay, so I drove one of them insane so far. Watching them run from the giant gnar gets me every time. So now we're on to the next scenario. Look, uh, I told you, treasure. Let's have at it, Sindelius. Because I want, Look at those jewels. I want that orc guy's um, items. So if this doesn't kill him, then, right the cage is then I'm gonna redo this. Murloc, be careful! This looks too good to be true. If only Lewin were here, he could get us through this in no time. We'll have to fend for ourselves. Do you think you can pry the door open? This is obviously a trick. Let's get out of here. To be so close, and yet so far. If only we had the key. Wait. Do you hear something? Look. Keys. One of them must open the gate. We're rich. Let's get out of here, Sindelius. This is obviously a trick to waste our time. 
I'll know it when I see it. Yes, it must be here. They're all fake. Just come with me now. Find it, yes. I must find the key. Rich beyond all my dreams. <laughs> ah, suit yourself. Okay, good. Too bad none of those keys fit the lock. <laughs> uh, that's cruel. So I'm going to kill this guy because I want his sword. Only me left. Uh, blood for birth. Blood. You'll not. Ah, now it's my turn. <laughs> he said that right as he died. You've made short work of the intruders. Shea Gorath should be proud to have such an efficient apprentice. Now, if you'll step on the last teleporter pad. I will meet you in the reception chamber, so we can recover your earnings. Not to worry. We'll have your spoils to you in no time at all. That was okay, I guess. That wasn't quite as fun as I remember it being. Hmm. Who are these guys? at some point. As is the tradition, you are to be awarded. I'll have it sent to the palace and placed in the main hall if you wish to take a look at it. Oh yes, of course. It seems a most unusual weapon was recovered from the orc warrior, Gromok. Never seen anything like it, but perhaps his journal can give you some useful information. Beyond that, Take whatever else you need from the recovery chest. You've earned it. You're free to go at any time, of course. Just up that hallway. Good luck to you. That was quite a battle. I hope you are uninjured. I was about to say, <laughs> you're not going to say anything about the guys that just attacked us? You've not heard the legends? How could that be? Those beings, as you call them, aren't beings at all. They are the soulless abominations known as the Knights of Order. <coughs> Their attraction to the Resonator isn't surprising. It was built from one of the obelisks that dot the Isles they seem to have an affinity for. You must proceed to Sher Gorath at once and tell him the Knights have returned. Quickly now, go! Okay, so these crystal things that we've been seeing around the Isles... Um, they're signs that the, uh, what are they called? Oh yeah, Knights of Order. That they've been out and about. And they, wow, a hard chest with six gold. Stupid. Well, so they, they serve this guy called, uh, Jigalag. And I'm not going to tell you anything about Jiggle Egg because I don't want to spoil anything. Ooh. Water breathing, feather, deck light. That's good. Dang.
Let's take all this. Okay. So what amulet am I wearing right now? Base amulet reflection reflect spell. So reflect spell or feather, water breathing, and detect life. Maybe I want this. Oh yeah, those, those are good resistances. But this will make me move faster. It gives me detect life. That's good. Yeah. I think I'll go with that. <laughs> they're just, um, those are the guys I drove insane, they're just kind of sitting in there, raving. Okay. So, that was Zedillion. Uh, next time we'll go back to Sheokrath and get the next quest. Till then.